bond between parents and children, or the parental-child relationship, is said to be the strongest bond that is known to man and animal kind. The parent-child relationship influences so many things that are integral to the foundation of a child's physical, emotional, and social development. This process begins from infancy when building the child's sense of security to learning about the world in their school years to becoming an adult that can talk on equal terms. Most parents work endlessly to be the guiding factor for their children, but there are some who do the complete opposite once a child is brought into the picture. The first major case of this that broke national news was the murder of 8-year-old Gabriel Fernandez by the hand of his mother and mother's boyfriend on May 24, 2013. Gabriel Fernandez was on record with social services and repeated calls to the Los Angeles County Children and Family Services and Sheriff's Department reporting signs of neglect and abuse were documented only for those signs to be ignored by authorities. Gabriel's cause of death was blunt force trauma coinciding with malnutrition and neglect and a multitude of injuries that indicated long-term torture were noted when he was brought to the Los Angeles Children's Hospital. When the death of Gabriel occurred, a multitude of grisly factors came out about the abuse inflicted by his mother, Pearl Fernandez, and her boyfriend, Isaro Aguirre. It was found that the torture Gabriel experienced lasted eight months, where he would be starved with his only source of food being cat litter, feces, expired food, and his own vomit. He had broken bones, burns, injuries all over his body, including the face and groin from a BB gun, forced to wear girls' clothing, pepper sprayed, burned with cigarettes, and given cold baths. He was kept in a small cupboard most of the time, gagged and handcuffed so he could not escape. Fernandez and Aguirre claim they tortured Gabriel because he was gay, though there is no evidence to prove this. You would think that having a case of this magnitude come to light would prompt an overhaul of the social services and sheriff's department, right? Unfortunately, this is not the case. According to the Electronic Suspected Child Abuse Reporting System, or ESCARS, 11 children died due to parental or caregiver abuse or neglect that were on Department of Children and Family Services records in 2018 alone. This number nearly doubled to 20 in 2019. One such case of this is Noah Quattro, a four-year-old boy from Palmdale, California that died at the hands of his parents on July 6, 2019. Jose Maria Cuatro, 28, and Ursula Elaine Juarez, 26, called 911 on July 5, 2019 from their home at the 1200 block of East Avenue S around 4 p.m. stating that their son had drowned in the family pool. Transcripts of the call detailed how Cuatro administered CPR over the phone, claiming he had tried so hard to save little Noah's life. Noah was taken to the Palmdale Regional Medical Center to be stabilized before being airlifted to Children's Hospital Los Angeles, but unfortunately died upon arrival there the following day. An autopsy was performed on Noah's body, revealing quite a few things that contradicted the story given by his parents. It was revealed that Noah had bruises all over his body, lacerations to his liver, fractured ribs, fractured vertebrae, and fresh blood on his rear end consistent with trauma inflicted by sodomy on the day of his death. A week after his death, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department announced that an investigation into what took place was made through a press release held by Sheriff Alex Villanueva. We are at the beginning of a very exhaustive, lengthy investigation to find out what happened with the tragic, untimely passing of baby Noah. The parents were not arrested at the time of the announcement, but were questioned about the details given previously. During the investigation into Noah's case, some alarming details came to light about the family's interaction with DCFS starting years prior. The earliest red flag came when it was discovered that within the same month in 2014, when Juarez discovered she was pregnant with Noah, her 10-month-old sister, Bobby Jean, suffered a skull fracture while in her care. After Noah was born, he and his siblings were placed in and out of foster care until his great-grandmother, Eva Hernandez, took custody of them when he was three months old and his mother was arrested. 
Noah and his siblings went back into the custody of his parents when he was nine months old, but were again removed and placed into foster care a year later when child neglect was noted. Hernandez once again took custody of them until November 2018 when he was placed back into the care of his parents. He was left in his parents' care once again until the time of his death. It was reported that Noah would beg not to be taken away from Hernandez each time custody was transferred, a horrifying indication on its own. Cuatro and Juarez were arrested in connection with the torture and murder of their son in September 2019 with the suspended court date on November 6th of the same year. Upon arrest, Supervisor Catherine Barger stated the following. The criminal arrest of Noah Cuatro's biological parents is an important step forward in this ongoing case. Since the moment I learned of Noah's tragic death, I committed to hold all negligent parties accountable. I've ensured full transparency during this investigation. We've highlighted areas to improve and have already implemented meaningful reforms. I'm grateful to the Sheriff's Department detectives who worked around the clock investigating Noah's death. I'll continue to be engaged on this case with the Sheriff and the District Attorney. Both were charged with the torture and murder of their child along with an additional charge given to Cuatro for assault on a child causing death and Juarez for child abuse resulting in death. Both parents face a possible maximum sentence of 32 years to life in prison, with their bail being set at $3 million each. The month prior to their arrest, Hernandez filed a multi-million dollar damages claim against the county, alleging that DCFS ignored countless reports of abuse that had been made to them. According to the claim filed on behalf of Hernandez, there were at least a dozen calls made to the child abuse hotline and police from people who said they suspected Cuatro and his siblings were being abused. Hernandez also alleges that in February 2019, a DCFS care worker noted that Cuatro appeared lethargic and withdrawn. There were then three more referrals in March and April, including a report that Cuatro arrived at Olive View UCLA Medical Center in Silmar with bruises on his back. In May, Hernandez contends that a DCFS worker filed a 26-page report to have Noah and his siblings removed from his parents' custody, along with another caseworker, noting in redacted DCFS records that his case was showing high or very high risk assessments. DCFS employees ignored the reports that Cuatro and his siblings were abused and in danger. Instead of protecting Noah and his siblings, DCFS continued to place the children with their parents, where the children continued to be abused over the course of several years. Another caseworker stated, There are current concerns for the mother's mental health. The worst offense that has come from this claim is child social worker Susan Johnson had obtained the judge's approval to remove Noah and his siblings from his parents' custody just weeks before his death. Johnson alleges the order was not executed due to the supervisors overruling the court order and her being dismissed from the case. DCFS issued the following public statement in August 2019. At any given time, the Department of Children and Family Services serves more than 34,000 families and vulnerable children in Los Angeles County with an unwavering commitment to pursue child safety every day in our communities. Our 9,000 employees are committed to this mission, and we look to do everything possible to safeguard the children entrusted to our care. We cannot comment on any pending claim, litigation, or lawsuit involving the department at this time. The Los Angeles County Office of Child Protection commented in September 2019, stating that they determined DCS officials acted appropriately in their handling of Noah's case. The court case is ongoing, with the next hearing being set for September 24th, 2020.